Hello friends, welcome to Sri's tutorial. In my last video, I told you that I will show you some of the simple data entry work in Excel and how to use the calculations. So here I'm going to start with the video by entering the student's marks in Excel. So first I have just clicked on the first cell in my Excel worksheet and I have typed student's mark sheet. And in the second row, I have just taken the first cell and given serial number, name and the names of the subjects. So, Math, Science, Social, English and Hindi. Now, here I am going to enter the serial numbers. So, first I will say 1 and then 2. And in Excel, if you want to enter the serial numbers for more uh, students, you don't need to enter for each and every student. So, for that what you have to do is just you select the serial number and keep your mouse pointer at the corner of the cell and drag it till where till which serial number you want just you need to click and drag it so automatically your serial numbers will be entered and then name so here i'm using uh, just some names for example a b c d e f g h I say for example, I have entered these names as students. Now here I will enter some dummy marks. So for 100, we are giving these marks for 100. So just I will say here for example, 28 in maths, uh, 89, 56, 90, 92, 67. So just enter the marks of the students. Like this, you can enter the. So, just enter the marks of the students. And now, here I'm going to do the total. So, I will say total. And here I will say percentage. And here I will say grade. So, now how will you do the total? So, for this in Excel, to do the total, there are different methods. So, the very simple method, there are different methods which you can use and you can do the sum. So, first, for that, you need to select the entire column for all the subjects and even the total cell where you want the total. And then, just you need to click on auto sum. Auto sum. Here, you can see auto sum. Just click on auto sum. So, your total will be entered in this total cell and same this total uh, whatever total you have got for this student a student same thing if you want to do it for others you, again you don't need to select the range and do it again just you need to click and drag it so like this for all the students the sum will be done this is one way and if you want at a time for all the students instead of selecting one one student you can do in another way so what is that way just you need to choose the entire marks at a time you select the range and just click on auto sum so at a time you will get the sum for all the students so i hope it's clear to how to do the sum now how will you calculate the percentage so to calculate the percentage here we need to enter some formula first you all have to know that in x so, in Excel, whenever we write any formula in the cell, we have to start with equals to, equals to symbol. And how will you do the percentage? So, for percentage, the total, the total marks we have in this cell. And what is that cell? H3, H3. So, H3 slash, slash use for division, slash and the total number of subjects. So, how many total number of subjects we have? Total five subjects one two three four five so here we have to say slash 500 into 100 so this is the way we have to calculate the percentage and press enter key so once you press enter key your percentage will be entered here in this cell so this is 100 and just press enter key so here your percentage will be take it so you need to enter the formula for percentage like this and just you need to drag it 
click and drag it for all the students if you want to take the percentage. So, this is the way you have to calculate the percentage of the students. Now, next we have to calculate the grade for the student. So, for this we need to use the uh, if statement here to calculate the grades of the students. So, here before going to start with the grades, I have I want to tell you some of the functions which we are going to use here. So, here we use this is called greater than symbol and greater than we use greater than uh, statement if along with if statement we use greater than condition. So, greater than if you say greater than 80 means it will start checking from more than 80 means 81, 82 like that. If you say greater than equals to 80 that means it will start checking the condition from 80 and above. Now, if you say less than 80 less than 80 means it will start checking from 79 and if you say less than equals to 80 means it will start checking from 80, 79 like that and if you say equals to 80 that means it will just check only which is equals to 80. So, these are the different five different conditions we are going to use here to calculate the grade. Now, let us calculate the grades. Now, to calculate the grades we need to enter the formula. So, for that first we have to say equals to and we are going to use if statement to give the condition here we are using if statement if and simple brackets here this value is i3 so if i3 value is greater than equals to 80 means if the percentage is more than 80 so the student should get a plus grade a plus. So, for that comma and whatever text you want to display as output that should be given in double quotes. So, here you have to say A plus and double quotes. So, this is the first value. Now, if it is not more than 80, if again comma, again if statement, uh, this is called nested statement, where conditional statement which is given inside if another if statement. So, here if again simple brackets i3 is greater than equals to 70 then comma it has to print a grade comma if again simple brackets i3 is greater than 60 greater than equals to 60 then it has to print B grade, comma, if open bracket I3 value is greater than equals to 50, then what it has to print? C grade, comma, if again open bracket i3 is greater than equals to 40 then comma it has to print grade d and if it is less than 40 means if again if open bracket if the value of i3 is less than equals to 39 so, already we have given till 40, so 39, 39, then what it has to print? It has to print fail. So, this is the way you have to give the condition to get the grade. Now, here we have to close the brackets, like how many brackets we have used, to open brackets we have used, the same number of closed brackets we have to use now. So, here we have used total 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here also we will use 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and just press enter key. So, here you can see the grade will be displayed. Now, to get the grades for all the students, just you need to click and drag it here. So, here you can see 
uh, the students those who got more than 80% will uh, got a plus grade and those the students who got seven more than 70% got a grade so like this you can calculate the grades automatically so hope it's clear to uh, you all understood how to get the grades now let's adjust this text so for this we will use this we will select this students marks and we will here we will use the merge and center so that it will be in the center so here select the entire uh, column till where you want to merge it and just click on it so here you will get your text in the center and the same way even you can choose this complete now, now here we will select the entire this cells range and here for this will give the border all side borders for that we have to click on this font group click on border all borders and choose the option all borders so here you can see all around your mark sheet the border will be applied now i want to keep all this in the center so for that just you need to click on center alignment in alignment group so here your text will be in the center so friends i hope it's very clear and please if you like this video subscribe i can share it thank you so much for watching